Orange County's mayor says a citizen's safety task force will take another look at rising gun violence. He, by the way, used to be Orange County's sheriff. He talked with faith leaders who are also urging the Florida legislature not to pass a slate of firearm bills that would allow people to conceal carry a gun without a permit. The Biden administration is also criticizing Florida lawmakers for working to relax state gun laws. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live. And Aaron, the White House says tougher gun laws are the answers. President Biden has repeatedly called for what he is calling an assault weapons ban. He's also suggesting well, raising the minimum age to buy a rifle to 21 years old. But what's important to note in all of this is in the Orange County shootings, the uh, handgun was used and that was the kind of firearm that was used. The suspected shooter in all this was 19 years old. The White House denounces a new effort that would make carrying a gun in Florida much easier. Too many lives are, are being ripped apart by gun violence. The president continues to call on Congress to act on gun safety and for state officials to take action at the state level. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre argues a so-called constitutional carry law would increase gun violence. This is the opposite of common sense gun safety and the people of Florida who have paid a steep price for state and congressional inaction on guns from Parkland to Pulse nightclub to Pine Hills deserve better. The bills would allow people to carry concealed weapons without having to get a license, go through background screening, or require training. However, people would not be able to openly carry a firearm in public. Supporters believe it would help with self-defense. Florida Congressman Chuck Brannon of McClenny is sponsoring the House bill. He says in part, this bill will simply allow Floridians to carry their firearm without the red tape and expense of a government license. And those proposals passed through some key votes in both the Florida House and the Florida Senate this past week. So now this paves the way for this to be strongly considered and likely go to a vote during the legislative session that starts on March 7th. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.